I don't want to see someone get hurt because otherwise it affects us all. Welcome to day 94. So I sat on a popular bike trail, cyclist trail in Victoria, BC called the Galloping Goose. I sat there today for roughly an hour, pushing almost two hours, because I wanted to see what all the fuss was about. The biggest thing is I don't want to see anyone get hurt and that's why I'm creating this video. I have a channel, I might as well use it to raise awareness. First of all, this is not hate whatsoever. I'm just stating a point to hopefully raise awareness so cyclists or e-bikers or basically anyone operating an electronic transportation device, I'll call them, is just a little bit more aware. First of all, I think e-bikes are great. It's a great idea for anyone who is physically unable to do what a normal bike could do. My mom, my little brother has one, I don't really know why, but my, my mom, her friends totally get it. E-bikes are great because, you know, I can't see her climbing a hill, no offense. I just can't see her climbing a, st a steep hill. Uh, she'd have to get off the bike and just kind of like walk, walk the bike up. So having an e-bike is a great idea for people that aren't physically capable of doing it themselves. But all that being said, there are rules to the road. Talk to parents, I've talked to different people, I've talked to pedestrians, I've talked to other cyclists. I'm a cyclist. There's just rules to the road. And the thing is, is when you're a first time biker or you're really new to cycling and you don't have people telling you what to do, thankfully I did, but you don't have people telling you what to do, you don't really know. So I thought, why not bring awareness to this. There's just a few things that have been brought to my attention. Even just cycling by myself or with a, a couple different people, things that we've noticed of people just like whipping along on different bikes and you know, they're upright and they're kind of not really paying attention and that's okay. I, I, I love that you're having a great, great time, but you need to be focused on the road and what's around you. Okay, so breaking it down so people can understand it a little bit better. It's kind of like driving. The Galloping Goose has a yellow line down, so they've got two different sides. In Canada, North America, where I am, you stay to the right-hand side. In other parts of the world, you'd probably be on the left-hand side. It's just kind of like driving. So if pedestrians are walking along slowly and somebody's coming up on the the other side the opposite direction preferably don't come out and play chicken with them uh some of the electronic bikes are, are pretty wide and you got to be careful it's just like you don't want to clip somebody going the opposite direction when you're in their lane that's one thing that i noticed today uh another thing is is if you're coming up behind somebody use your voice just say, hey, I'm coming up behind you. I'm on your left or I'm on your right or wherever. I'm just coming up behind you. If you don't have a voice, that's why they made bells. Ding, ding. They work. They're amazing. Other things are if, you, if you're just whipping along a trail that has pedestrians, be careful. I saw quite a few things today. Little people, I mean like five or six years old, they're not the best on the bike, swerving, people going in and around them. Uh, just try to be a little bit more cautious, I guess is the word that I'm looking for. Just try to be a little bit more cautious. Other things that I noticed, uh, I, there were so many electronic devices just whipping along, uh, single wheels, double wheels, scooters, refurbished motorbikes. A lot of the times they're not pedaling and they're just whipping along in full gear. 
It's great that you're in full gear, but wait till you hit somebody that's not in full gear. Who covers that insurance? So if you're riding a refurbished motorbike that's electronic, that's not insured, and you hit somebody, what happens then? So if you're new to cycling, there's a couple things that I've learned throughout the course of my journey and all the different videos from experts of their own craft, top cyclists, even doing the ride to conquer cancer, they taught me different things. So if you're drafting, that's one thing. If, you've know, if you don't know what drafting is, it's like sometimes I don't suggest it, but if you're right behind somebody and you notice somebody's right behind you, try to point or try to just say like there's a pothole down here or... You know, there's people coming up because it's just courteous cycling. Uh, a lot of times you don't tell them that. It's just like they're they're too far behind or close to you. And then they go straight and you go this way. It's just, ugh, ugh. yeah, it just turns into a whole nother problem. If you're going to pass someone, preferably do it when there's not somebody else in the other lane. You don't need to play chicken with them. You don't do it on the road when you're driving a car. So why would you do it when you're riding a bike? If you don't like slowing down, do what I do. Go on a road that doesn't necessarily have a lot of traffic. It's a lot easier that way. You can go as fast as you want. And when you got an electronic device, it does all the work for you. So why don't you just jump on a car road that doesn't have a lot of cars? It's a lot easier that way. So all in all, the only reason why I created this video, it wasn't to hate on people for owning an e-bike. It was just simply to show you guys that people are watching. And the thing is, if you get into an accident and you hurt a pedestrian, it affects all of us. Cyclists, e-bikers, pedestrians, everyone. So all I'm saying is slow down, be a little bit more cautious, and preferably don't get into an accident with someone else or run them off the road. So just be a little bit more cautious. That's all I'm saying. I hope you have a great day, and if you like this video, don't forget to share it, comment on it, because I'd love to hear what you thought of it, and give it a big thumbs up.